Hi, my name is Diego and I'm the lead designer at Atom Home Labs. For the past five years, I have been helping in cosmetic brands come to market. But today, I'm here to give you three devices that might be controversial. And there is a high probability that those are gonna get me kicked out from the design industry. Get out of here! And if that happens, I'm okay with that. I really am, I'm gonna do something else. And before we even start, let me make something crystal clear. I am a designer. I make my living by designing brains for cosmetic companies. So what I'm about to tell right now is not gonna do me any favors, financially speaking, but if you are starting a company in the cosmetic environment, in the cosmetic field, the advice that I'm about to give you might save you thousands of dollars, if not your whole business plan. Because there's nothing worse than spending money when you don't need to spend or not spending money in the right moment. So if you're ready, buckle up and let's get done. And here are the three things I wish my client would ask me, but they never do. Let me tell you something that's gonna get all the design agents pissed off at me, okay? All those guys are gonna be really mad at me. And the answer for this question is no. You do not have to spend five figures to create a brain when you're just starting. In matter of fact, doing so might kill your brain before it even starts. Because as I said before, spending money when you don't have to, or trying to save money when you have to spend, it is the worst way to start a business. And right now, you know, I can hear and I can feel, I can hear the designer saying that I'm an idiot. Diego, you're an idiot and I can feel the hatred towards me, but I have to tell you the cold hard truth. Your fancy logo, your beautiful color palette, amazing typography will mean jack if you do not generate sales fast, okay? At that stage, what you really need is to create a minimal viable product or prototype, whatever you wanna call it, and you have to get this into people's hands. You have to get this and put in the market and see what people tell you, what is the feedback, and be ready to pivot when you hear the market. And be sure you're gonna hear from people. You're gonna say, they're gonna tell you, this is amazing or this is not amazing. And when you stay safe, this is not amazing, you have to very quickly learn what they didn't like and fix it. And that's the only way to keep growing your brain. I actually had, I took notes because I want to get this straight. Uh, the three priorities you should have at that stage when you start starting a brand is creating a product that works. And by this, I mean, if you say you created like a lotion that hydrates people, your lotion better hydrate people. That's number one. Get this done, get this done correctly. Number two, get your product into people's hands. And once you have done this, learn from real feedback. Keep an eye and an ear peeling to the market. Keep monitoring, seeing what people are talking about your brain, because this is the only way you're going to be able to nail your product and grow your brand. And just to finish this off, uh, did you notice how I never really mentioned you need to create an Instagram worthy aesthetic because that's really not important, especially when just starting. You don't have to worry about this. This is gonna come with time. There's a time and a place to get this done. When starting, it's better to get things done than getting things perfect. That's it, number one. Let's move to number two. Embrace yourself because I'm gonna commit a digital suicide. It has to be said, and I'm not gonna be that person telling you right now. 
If you are using Squarespace, Wix, Webly as a digital platform to build your indie cosmetic brand e-commerce, you're shooting yourself in the foot. That's it. There's no way around. Uh, and I can hear you saying, but Diego, that's so easy to use those platforms. It's just a drag and drop. It's so easy to set up. And you know what else is easy? Using trainee wheels to ride your bike. Have you ever seen anyone winning a Tour de France with trainee wheels? There is no way around. If you want to build your website that's going to be good and robust, those platforms doesn't really work. What you need in the website is a platform that works really well and that can be scale and they can support your business because many times your e-commerce is the only touch point with the clients and if you don't build this right from the get-go from the ground up you're gonna hit a wall as fast as I can say as CEO optimization and you know what this is a subject for another video but trust me getting a robust website that's not just a pretty online brochure is very important and i'm going to look at my notes to tell you the three top priorities that you should consider when building your website your website should be able to scale with your business because i believe you want to scale your business your website shouldn't require you to have a computer science degree to do the maintenance and probably more important of all, your website should make Google love you and your brand. Because if Google cannot find you, it is very unlikely that people are gonna find you online. And yes, building a good and robust website might cost more upfront. It might take a little bit longer to build and might be a little harder to maintain but getting a good robust and solid website from the start is what i'm going to make a difference between your website and e-commerce helping you to grow your business or the e-commerce working against you because users are going to be frustrated with you and this is the last one the last advice and this is not the technical side, it's more about your mentality. And I might sound like a sergeant drill right now, but it has to be said. The number one reason why indie cosmetic brands fail, it is not because of the product, their packaging, or even their website. It is because the founders give up way too early they don't stay there for the grind for the long haul and that's why a lot of brands fail you know what this industry is not for the faint of heart this industry requires you to be persistent stubborn and borderline obsessive you have to be prepared to eat sleep and grieve your brain before it grows and I can hear you. I can hear you saying, oh, but I have seen this overnight success on Instagram or TikTok. And let me tell you something. All of this is bullshit. Every single one of them. There is no overnight success. What you don't see is the years that those people have spent behind the scenes grinding. Now, many times they got rejected. The many nights they couldn't sleep because they didn't know if they would be able to pay the bills. And if I could give you three tips on how you should behave and the mentality if when you get into this field, those three tips would be consistency that borderlines insanity, the ability to take a punch or two, not real punches, you know what I mean? 
And I want to read the last one because I'm really proud of this phrase that I wrote. A willingness to adapt faster than a chameleon on a disco floor. You have to be adaptable. You have to be able to pivot and you have to be able to learn with your mistakes. Things not gonna go the way they're imagined and you have to be ready for that. And if you're not, do yourself a favor and keep your day job because this industry is probably gonna give you a heart attack. Look, I get it. This isn't the feel good, you can do it, pack talk you're expecting. But I'm not here to cuddle you. I'm here to tell you the truth and give you the advice that I wish someone gave me when I was starting. The path to success in the indie cosmetic world is not necessarily paved in gold and with amazing packaging and amazing designs. The reality is the path is paved with sweat, tears, and blood. Sometimes, hopefully not a whole lot of blood. <laughs> but keeping this real, you really have to stick to your ideas and to your principles. And that's the only way you're gonna succeed. And if you're still here and you, have, and you were able to suffer through those eight, 10 minutes, that's a good sign. You might actually have what it takes to succeed because in this industry the ones that make it are not necessarily those with the biggest budget or the prettiest packaging the people that make in the in this industry are the ones that are so stubborn that they never quit that's it that's the only secret you just have to keep moving forward you know, it's time to prove me right. Get out there and make it happen. And if you get any questions, you're feeling fired up with this video, or you think I'm, a, I'm an idiot and you just want to tell me, drop in the comment. Let's keep this real talk, this real conversation going on, because I think a lot of people can learn. So if you have started a brain or you're just starting a brain, let us know what is your ma major challenge. And, Maybe we can help you. I appreciate and we talk soon.